Tatichev Common, Macedonia, 2001. Archaeologists investigating this volcanic peak, 3,300 feet above sea level, discover what they believe to be the remains of a nearly 4,000-year-old observatory. The Kokino um, Observatory in Macedonia has been recognized by NASA as one of the most impressive observatories of its kind in the world. The others being the Cambodian temples and Stonehenge itself. It's composed of four thrones that were carved out of stone that face east, the direction of the rising sun. In addition to the four thrones, are man-made markers carved into the eastern rock wall that track celestial movements with remarkable precision. This location also tracks the movement of the sun, tracking the solstices and the equinoxes. And in fact, they've discovered that the Coquino Observatory, it's a kind of a lunar calendar that it shows the phases of the moon and the 19-year eclipse cycle, which is something that Stonehenge does as well. So what we're looking at here is something that is very advanced knowledge, and we don't know where they got this from. It tracks the movement of the moon and also the movement and location of the Pleiades. In many ancient cultures throughout the world, including the Egyptians, Greeks, Mayans, Celts, and numerous Native American tribes, the Pleiades star cluster is associated with the gods, and in some cases, even the origins of the human race. The earliest known depiction of this star cluster is an artifact known as the Nebra Sky Disk, which dates back to approximately the 17th century BC, the same time period most archaeologists believe the Kokino Observatory was built. But according to ancient astronaut theorists, a connection to the Pleiades is not the only aspect of Kokino that is curiously similar to other ancient cultures. But what I find fascinating about Kokino is that these stone thrones aren't exclusive to Kokino, but those stone thrones can be found all around the world. In fact, we find the exact same structures at Sacsayhuaman in Peru, in Greece, in Italy. When you put all this together, it makes one wonder if, in fact, this was a site that was visited long ago by star beings or extraterrestrials, and that they who created this observatory were perhaps commemorating something that they experienced as a result of an encounter with these beings. Is the Kokino Observatory evidence of an otherworldly presence in the mountains of Macedonia? Did extraterrestrials use locations like these to share scientific knowledge with early humans? Ancient astronaut theorists say yes. And as further proof, they point to numerous cultures that believe otherworldly beings visit the mountains even to this day.